Lasix, furosemide, is one of the most commonly prescribed medications for treating edema, swelling, associated with heart failure, kidney disease, and liver disease. It is also used to manage high blood pressure. Here are some common side effects and important information to keep in mind. Frequent urination. Lasix works by causing your kidneys to remove excess fluid from your body, which leads to increased urination. While this can be inconvenient, it is often a desired effect to help get rid of excess fluid in conditions like heart failure or edema. Dizziness. Dizziness can happen, especially if you stand up too quickly. This is because Lasix can lower your blood pressure, especially if the dose is too strong, or if you have other problems making you dehydrated, like diarrhea or vomiting. Dehydration can add to its effect and make the dizziness worse. Electrolyte imbalance. Lasix can cause your electrolyte levels, such as potassium and sodium, to drop. Your healthcare provider will likely monitor your electrolyte levels through blood work, usually a few weeks after starting or increasing the dose, to ensure they remain within safe ranges. Dehydration. Because Lasix increases urination, it can lead to dehydration. Symptoms of dehydration include dry mouth, excessive thirst, dizziness, and reduced urine output. Hearing issues. Although rare, some people might experience ringing in the ears, tinnitus, or hearing loss. If you notice any hearing issues, notify your healthcare provider immediately. It is important to monitor your creatinine, potassium, and sodium levels through blood work, which can range from days to weeks after the initiation of Lasix or after an increased dose. The timing of these checks will depend on the dose and your personal sensitivity to the medication. Always notify your healthcare provider if you develop any side effects or have any concerns or questions about your medication. They can provide the best advice and support for your specific situation. This video is purely for educational purposes. Patients should not change medications without consulting their healthcare provider. This content was prepared by Dr. Lukasz Kiljanic, board certified nephrologist, hypertension specialist, and internal medicine physician with extensive experience in treating patients with hypertension. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to improve your health.